Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the best friend a man has in this world may turn against him and become his worst enemy. His son or his daughter, who he has raised with love and care, may prove ungrateful. Those who we trust with our happiness, our good name, may become traitors to us. People who are prone to fall on their knees to do us honor when success is with us are often the first to throw the stones of malice when failure settles its cloud on our heads. But the one absolutely unselfish friend that you can have in this selfish world, the one who will never desert you, the one who never proves ungrateful or treacherous, is your dog. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, he is your best friend in prosperity and in poverty, in health and in sickness. He will sleep on the cold ground where wintry winds blow and snows drive fiercely, if only to be at his master's side. He kisses the hand that offers him no food. He licks the wounds and sores that come in encounters with the roughness of the world. He guards the sleep of his pauper master as if he were a prince. And when all other friends depart, he remains. If fortune sends his master forth, an outcast in the world, friendless and homeless, the faithful dog asks no higher privilege than that of accompanying him to guard against danger, to fight against his enemies. And when the last scene of all comes, and death takes his master in its embrace, and his body is laid away in the cold ground. No matter if all other friends pursue their way, there by his graveside will the noble dog be found. His head between his paws, his eyes sad, but open in alert watchfulness, faithful and true, even to death.